Hello everyone, it's Eva here. Wow, and I can't believe it has been four weeks again already. I was down with the COVID, so sorry guys, I was super weak. But here I am back with my next super pretty summer nail design. I was playing around with smile lines this week and um, yeah, I'm super happy how this one turned out. I'm wearing it on my own short nails. So let's get started and I show you how I did it. So of course first I come in with my nail file and although my nails are short they need some shaping. So I'm just quickly going around my nails, filing them into shape. And then I'm taking out my nail drill as well and I'm going around the cuticle area and the side walls and I already have a lot of dead skin that needs to be taken care of. And also I'm going over my cuticle area here with my nail drill to lift up the skin in the nail bed area but so far I have not found a way to file that off in my nail bed area. Um, my skin there is very thin and very flexible and it just rolls away under any nail drill so far so um, after going around with the drill I'm coming in with my new favorite nail scissors that have like these very pointy and thin cutting blades and as you can see with this nail scissor I can really get into there and get my dead skin away in the nail bed area and finally I'm really happy with my nail bed area, the cuticle, everything just looks tidy and in order and yeah it's thanks to this nail scissor. So I leave a link in the description box below. Maybe some others of you have the same problem that you cannot file away the dead skin, you have to cut it. So then I'm coming in with the cotton swipe and some cleanser and I'm taking all the dead skin and the crumbs away and also because the dead skin crumbs really stick in my side walls and in my nail bed area I'm wrap wrapping a bit of the cotton with cleanser around an orange wood stick and as you can see I'm really going in there because once you start with your gel polish application if you do not take all the dead skin away um, you can see any little crumb and any little anything that is still sticking to your nail plate so yeah I'm really making sure I'm thorough and I'm taking all the dead skin away because that used to bug me so much and especially now in this set I really love my gel polish application so I'm coming in with my Beatles base coat and I'm trying to apply a thin and even layer on my nails here and uh, the moment I apply the base coat on my thumb, I already see that I have much too much product on my nail plate and uh, the layers build up, okay? So you do not want your nail plate bulky. I'm already putting some of the base coat back into the bottle here and as you can see, I'm not applying any more base coat. I'm taking it off with the brush and putting the excess product back into the bottle because it was far too thick and then once I'm happy and everything is thin and even I've, I cure my nail under the lamp for 60 seconds and I do exactly the same on the rest of my nails making sure I do not apply too thick um, that was a beginner mistake of mine. I applied the base coat too thick and then the layers of gel polish too thick and then you end up with your nail being really thick. So make sure you start thin and even. 
application with my left hand on my right hand. And then once all my nails are done, I come in with cleanser and a lint-free wipe, removing the tacky layer. I think most of the base coats have a tacky layer and that can also be an obstacle to even nice gel polish application. And this is the gel polish of the week. Mrs. Always Right from Neonail. I think it's from their wedding collection and it is a super nice sheer milky gel polish with the tiniest particles of glitter in it. Um, in the first layer I thought ah, this is too sheer and maybe I should have had um, a normal white gel polish as a first layer and then gone over that layer with this one just to have the sparkle so in the end uh, because i did not use a white gel polish underneath i ended up putting three layers on each nail so it was a bit of work but totally worth it i have to say because i really like how the pink of my nail plate is shining through the this sheer gel polish merging together and what you have is a white milky white milky pinkish glitter nail very natural very subtle glitter and uh, you will see in a moment when i have all three layers on um, that was the right decision however while i was applying the gel polish i thought should I have went with the white gel polish underneath? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, but especially in the first layer, you... Well, I am never really sure where everything is going, but however, everything turned out fine. So I'm curing each layer for 60 seconds in my lamp. Here I'm applying the second layer and yeah, already you can see the glitter is much more visible. I'm going to show you a close up in a moment. And um, yeah, actually I was looking at my hands after the second layer and I thought, is it enough? Do I want a third layer? But then I decided to go with a third layer, but I think a second layer is already quite pretty as you can see here and here i hit my cuticle area with the gel polish so as long as it's not cured you can just come in with an orange wood stick make sure nothing is on your skin before curing so this is my second layer. I'm removing the tacky layer and I'm thinking, shall I do three or am I fine with two? That's why what I'm looking at here. But yeah, I went with three. So I think here I have three layers on already and see, you can see these glitter particles here i'm doing the close-up are oh, so happy with that already and this gel polish alone on your fingers that is already so pretty so however i'm coming in with my beetles top coat this is a non-wipe non-sticky top coat and it really brings these tiny glitter particles to life and uh, now i'm getting all my gel painting colors ready so there are a dark green and a light green then light purple dark purple and i also have two different kinds of blue and what i'm doing here is i come in with this um with this lighter purple but the light purple for me is too light and the dark is too dark so i'm mixing a tiny bit of the dark purple into the light purple until I have the shade that I want and I was constantly cleaning my orange wood stick and my brush every time I change color you should see the left side of um, the camera shot everything is full with uh, with lint-free wipes and cleanser and color and it's a mess anyway here I'm coming in with this turquoise light blue and I'm mixing in a drop of this dark blue 
So you see, you do not have to have all the gel painting, uh, the gel paint colors there are. You can also mix the shades that you want to use. Put a bit of white there. And I'm also mixing some white into the blue and the purple. I think then the purple turned out too light again. And then I came in with a bit of the dark purple. Well, until I was happy with what I had mixed. Super important that you are happy with what you want to wear on your nails, right? So here we go. Perfect purple for this purpose. Of course, I used way too much color here on the mixing plate. I was super wasteful, but well, whatever. Ah, I'm even mixing a third green color. So I'm taking the dark green, put a bit of white. And there we go. Now I have three different green colors to play with. And I'm starting on my thumb. And this is real time. I'm showing you what I did in real time because I think a lot of you might be interested in <laughs> the struggles and the technique of nail painting. So, okay, what do I do? I come in with the first color with this light green. I'm putting it on the tip of my brush and what I do is I create like an elongated green blotch on my nail plate and then with the tip of my brush I come in and I drag out, I pull out this green blotch also here on the other side and bit by bit I'm creating this leaf shape until I'm happy with it. And also, uh, if, you, if you pay attention, I'm anchoring my right hand on my left hand with my middle finger and with my pinky. So my right hand doesn't shake too much when I paint on the leaves. Maybe you can see it better in a moment. And also, okay, here you see, I'm anchoring my right hand with the pinky and in a moment with the middle finger, I think, to reduce shaking. And also, tip from me to you, it helps if you already see the entire leaf and flower smile line that you want to create on the nail. So you hold on to the picture that you have in your mind and, and how you want your nail to turn out and then you just yeah you hold on to the picture and you try to bring that picture on your nail plate and to to follow the idea that you have in your mind as best as possible it's like the mr miyagi method i suppose have a very clear picture in your mind and then try to make it in reality like the picture in your mind. Yeah, I like that. Let's uh, Mr. Miyagi it here. So, okay, you can see I'm coming in with the different green shade now for the, for the middle flower that I want to create. And in between, I'm cleaning out my brush constantly. Every time you um, pick another color, you have to clean your brush or your orange wood stick or your dotting tool, whatever you are using, to not mix the colors together, neither in the container of your gel paint, nor on the brush, nor on your mixing plate, because then in the end, it's going to be a huge mess. Well, here you can see it was all a huge mess, constant cleaning here and there, my God. <laughs> so here I'm taking my dotting tool and then I'm creating these white dots in the center of the leaves and <laughs> first try, first fail. So here I brought the dots too close together on the left side on my thumb and I'm already thinking, oh, I don't like that. I want the dots to be close. 
like here in the middle, but I do not want them to merge together. Um, I want a bit of um, yeah, separation and definition. So here on the right side, I am creating the tiniest assembly of dots, very small, very well separated. So I'm happy with the middle and the right side. The left side, not so much. And it was bugging me so much that in the end, I took everything away because nothing is cured yet. The leaves are not cured, the white flowers are not cured and actually I recommend flash curing in between but this time it was lucky because here as you can see I'm, I'm trying to make the best out of the white blotch that I have created there but oh, it just bugs me and then in the end I take it off. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying, but okay, no use. What am I doing? I'm coming in with the tip of my brush and first I'm dragging all the white dots to the center of our flower. And then when the center is created, I go to the outside of the white dots and drag out the outside of the dot into a bit more of a pointy end making the flower more flowery, petally. In the end, I think um, the round white dots are fine as they are, but I had this, I wanted the flowers to look more like, yeah, like jasmine flowers or maybe orange or lemon tree flowers. They are a bit pointy and they have these white petals and yeah, as we are in summer, I was thinking of jasmine, orange flowers. So see here, I'm coming in with a cotton swipe and some cleanser and I just, I press down and I take off the entire left side. And I'm just starting from the beginning because it did not go with what I had created in the middle and on the other side of the nail. And I think at this point, what I've created so far, I already flash cured. So nothing can move. So what does that mean? Flash cure means you go with your nail into your LED lamp and just leave it there for 10 seconds. And then the gel paint is um, fixed enough to not move anymore. And even if you hit it slightly, you should be fine. And now I can just concentrate here on the left side of my thumb, creating the tiny green petals again, as I was showing you before, dragging out my green blotches into nice leaves until I'm happy. And what you cannot see here, but what I did the moment I was happy with the green leaves, I put my thumb in the lamp and I flash cured. And now I'm looking at it again and I'm thinking, okay, where do I want to go with the placement of my dots? This time I had them better separated, but I only managed to bring four together, not five, but still. Um, yeah, now I realize I have no space for a fifth dot. But anyway, I'm happy with that. So I'm coming in with my brush. I'm dragging the white dots to the center, bring them closer together. And then I drag out the outside of the dots, making them more pointy. And I'm very happy already with how everything turned out. I flash cure that, look at my finger, I'm already very happy and now I'm coming in with my dotting tool, picking up the blue color and then just pull the overall concept of the smile line together. I'm adding tiny blue dots here and there, clean my dotting tool and then I pick up the purple and I bring in some purple dots as well. Here we go. Thank you. 
and with all these different elements creating my first summery flowery smile line here you can see the blue and purple dots a lot better and also the glitter polish oh i love it so much okay so this was real time moving on to my um, index finger and now this is a bit sped up because otherwise I can tell you guys that was a lot of work okay and a lot of painting and a lot of cleaning out my brush constantly and a lot of flash curing so this is sped up but I leave this in as well because I want to show you that I really play around with the colors so now I'm starting with the darker green on the sides and then in the middle I will work with the, with the other two green colors that are a bit lighter keeping in mind the overall concept of the smile line for my index finger and just following the picture I have in my mind so here I'm coming in with the lightest green color I create another leaf here and there and once I have all the leaves where I want them. I take an overall look on my index finger, pop that into my lamp and flash cure so nothing can move and then I move on with the white flowers. Here I only managed to bring three dots together but I was trying to yeah like in the middle bring five dots. Five dots means five petals and uh, that was the ideal flower I had in mind. However as you can see here the three flower petals are also fine here. I'm dragging the white into the center and then I go outwards and yeah it requires a bit of patience and if something does not turn out the way you want it, then just go in with a cotton swipe and some cleanser, take it off, start again. You really have to love what you are creating. And I have to say this set, I love it so much. I'm sitting here, I'm looking at my nails, I'm so happy with everything and it just puts me into a super good mood. I'm in such a good mood. Then I combined my outfit of the day um, to the nails. So I'm wearing a white top and then these dark green shorts and my entire jewelry is matching my nails. So uh, I'm such a girl, but see, this is so pretty already. So nail number two, and then I just started to play around with the petals and the leaves and the different colors. Yeah, and well, this is my left hand. Uh, the, the right hand was a whole different story because I had to go even slower working with my non-dominant hand on my right hand, but I managed. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section below and please like and subscribe if you like what you see and let me know. Would you give this a go? Would you try it as well? It was a lot of work, but I have to say super worth it. It makes me so happy. I hope I could inspire you and I'm going to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.